Bitcoin trying to break out. Well, it did break out. Well, it's actually trying to break out. The way I would put it is it's trying to break out. Where I left off my last video, I drew in these targets off this yellow triangle. Wasn't sure if it was going to go up or down. And there it is. It broke up. And as you can see, it's no coincidence, folks, that there it is. Now it's a little later. It's about almost four days later than I have it drawn in here, but that I wasn't really talking about time a whole lot. So let's go ahead and remove that, but let's have a look, look at that first though. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, but, but I don't think that was really the triangle. Let's remove this. Those were the targets, right? It was about a $5,500 target, either up or down. And, uh, why is it not there? remove that? Get that off there. Get that off there. So let's zoom in and let's see what happened here. It came out the yellow triangle. Whole lot of resistance above here. It had to break through. And I haven't made a video for a while. I was going to make a video yesterday and the day before, but I didn't. But anyways, it broke out of the triangle. About a $2,000 move. Came back down for the retest. Gave it one more go. It's hitting the top of this green descending channel I have here. Came back down for another retest. That's basically that's basically it. The move was basically over. And then, of course, we've got from the world world of weird, wild, and wacky. We've got a news story that uh, I'm not going to really talk about, but but uh, it's a pro Bitcoin development. And there it is. That's the full move <laughs> up to the sixty three thousand dollar level. Right, I was I was thinking it'd be back here. And I was saying the top of the uh, green descending channel is lined up really good with the sixty three thousand dollar level. That's there it is. Boom, it's just a little later, and that was the resistance I was looking at if we were going to have a big move. And there it is, and it's it's been rejected from there. Now this, I have a hunch this is probably going to go higher. But with that being said, it could very easily come back down. Now this horizontal line here is sixty two thousand. 150 on my chart and that could be good support but you know it, this is the the big one the 60,800 this gold horizontal line that's basically kind of the bottom of the range we've been in since March i mean it's not the bottom but but it's the bulk with if you take out the dives down but it, it, that's good it's good that it got above 60,800 and uh I have a hunch this is probably going to keep going, but it could come down. It could come down in ways before it, you know, maybe it comes all the way back down to, you know, 59,000. But I do think that it's on its way. Now, with that being said, I don't mean that it's going to 100,000 anytime soon, right? If, if it were to break out, if it can get through this resistance here, this gray box here at about, 65,300. Why is that not marked? Oh, I don't have that marked with a line. It's at about 64,700 to 65,350, that area. That's a big resistance. So the thing about this pump so far, I'll try to make this a short video. Here's what this pump did not do. It did not take out this previous high here, right? And for this to be a sustained pump that continues up, you would want to see this previous high of 63,900. You'd want to see that beaten, right? So, you know, Bitcoin could come up here, and if it gets rejected from this area, well, it's still set, and you know, it's, it's set a higher high at that point, um, which would be a development in itself, which would be good, let alone if it were to get above up above here. If it gets up above here, then then uh, you know it starts closing some candles um the likelihood is that it's that it's probably going to stay up there for a while but with that being said what i was going to say earlier is this is the real the real area of resistance the, the all-time high up here is this top white line and then i got these two light lines underneath of it you know it's like 72 to seventy four thousand. it could very well come up there you know this could just be another run up here you know, it looks something like this, you know, you know, off, I'll fail and come back down. Right. That could be what we're dealing with. Who knows for sure. I don't want to speculate that far, 
But I, I want to uh, just, let's go to the daily. I want to show you something. You know, actually, I want to show you something. Let's go to, uh, let's get off the big screen. You can see my trade there. I'm going to swing trade. I'm hedge mode swing trading. You can see my long position has suddenly started looking extremely tasty. Right. I, I did add a little bit to it at lower levels, so my entry price has come down quite a bit. And uh, you can just take a look at that. The short position, it looks terrible, but I'm doing that on purpose. Right, That short position was just a little insurance policy in case Bitcoin dive, dove down into the forty, you know, mid-40,000s. And uh, I've done that on purpose. I talked about it in the previous videos. So I don't want to go into that. What I want to do is I want to go over here to a different... Let's go over to, uh, let's get off USDT because Femex doesn't have enough history on that pairing. So let's go over here to uh, USD Bitcoin. Go back to the big screen. I want to show you this because I think I think this is where we're at. And uh, I made a video a while back and this has always felt real familiar to me. Now, I'm not talking about the post having Bitcoin pump, because I think that this was, this was the mid cycle pump, right? Where, whatever happens here, you know, if it comes down or up or whatever, I, th I think the, the post having pump is still out here to the right. Right. And, and I'm still going to set, and I'm still going to say 139,000 for the next, the next top. But the point I want to make here is this has felt real familiar to me. Like we're right here. Now this was the post, like uh, in, in time frame and time ways and, and time wise right now today, if you looked at the last cycle, we're about, we're about right here. If I draw a vertical line, right? Everything to the left of this scribble is what we've just done. And everything to the right is what's coming, right? I, I don't think we've seen the post having, well, I know we haven't seen the post having bit, put Bitcoin pump because since post having it's been dumping and sideways so <laughs> but anyways it's always felt real familiar to me here um this is actually where i got washed out by the elon musk dump it came down and this is kind of what has happened here it's just it's just a lot less severe right it's it's very similar feeling to me it's just bitcoin has just got uh it's grown up, it's matured. So these drastic dumps aren't, they're not allowed to be as drastic anymore. But I've always felt like we're kind of there, just not not in a time way, you know, not comparing cycles or anything, just in, in structurally, right? And Bitcoin came all the way back down here. And when, when Bitcoin was down here, a lot of people, myself included, well, actually up here, I was saying, when it was like 42,000, I was saying Bitcoin's going to 20, and it made it all the way down to 28. So I, I don't feel too bad about that. But even down here, I was saying it's probably going lower. And there was a B word conference, right? It took it took a it's a very similar feeling to where this was, right? And right right here, a B word conference happened. So like I just want to show you this real quick, how how news stories can can affect this. And now I do think the market's basically primed for these pumps and dumps to occur but these news story help so right here last cycle elon musk see this see this this here this wick here the big giant green one straight up elon musk put the word uh, bitcoin into his twitter handle here and then you can see what resulted in that immediately boom right and he actually did that the morning of a cme friday's last friday of the month closure which i didn't notice at the time and i wish i would have I wasn't that experienced back then. But uh, anyways, Elon Musk puts the word Bitcoin in his Twitter handle. Boom, way up here. Basically, you know, straight up to the all-time high. Although it was beaten by a little bit later on. You know, the way over here, it was beaten a little by a little bit. But that's basically it, right? It went up to about 60000 after that. And then uh, here, I just, I just want to show you this, how this relates to where we're at today. And then here, uh, Elon Musk puts out a tweet on Twitter that Bitcoin's bad for the environment and it starts dumping and then and then Tesla sold the Bitcoin, right? Dump, boom, dump, right? Huge dump. <laughs> That's where I got washed out. Right here in the middle of May or so from about 60,000 to uh, 
29,000 in about four days. It was awful. Lots of people got, I don't want to talk about that. But anyways, I just want to show you this. And then here, Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, Kathy Wood got together and put together a B word conference, B for Bitcoin. And this was probably going to be the cycle, right? It was pretty much done. And then this was going to be the bear market and whatever. But but it, took, it, it reignited it, right? Reignited it. Reignited it. Just, just some B word conference. Boom. Big pump. You know, all the way from 30 to, to 53. Big old pump. And I think that's where we're at right now. And uh, I just want to elaborate just a little more if you're hanging with me. So, right, and then it started coming down. And then here was the Bitcoin ETF hype. Not the real ETF, but the uh, the futures. Uh, yeah, the Bitcoin, the paper, if you will, paper Bitcoin ETF hype. And that's basically what resulted here. And then that happened. They got the ETF and then boom. And the rest of the story. And then over here is the FTX, you know, debacle. And uh, that's how it does it right now. This You can just ignore all those stories and say, you know, this is just the cycle playing out. And that's fine, you know. But it's a cycle playing out. But but news stories at the right times can really, 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 really impact this market. And we definitely have a news story that just happened. And uh, right, this this was feeling familiar to me here here right and then a dump and then over here a dump real familiar and then a b word b word conference just a, a new story out of the blue boom pump straight up twenty three thousand dollar pump right and uh i had to sit and watch that because i didn't have any money to put into it it's hard to watch man <laughs> and now now we've got this new story this is you know a long-winded way of saying I think that this just happened, I, you know, and then a few videos back, I said when Bitcoin came down here, I put this wick in to 53,000, this guy here, I said that very well could be the, the, the wick, the, the bounce, the, the bounce that leads to, you know, it, you know, it could take a couple months, right? But I think that could be the one that leads to the, the true parabolic, well, maybe not parabolic, it is parabolic, whatever, um, up and to the right, the post having Bitcoin pump and, and we've got that new story, right? So there's a lot of resistance. I'll go back to my chart. Well, I don't really need to go back to my chart. You saw it. There's a lot of resistance. I just busted through about half of it. And uh, that $65,000 area, right? This, this, uh, you know, long story. Guy says, That's what I want to make this video about. So I'm just going to start rambling at this point. Th this could have been it. I thought it might have been it, just, just, you know, just technically. And now we've got this new story that happened, uh, like right here, right? The, this pump was kind of, you know, it wasn't fading out, but, but you know, this new story has ignited it. And so, very key to watch this sixty-three thousand eight hundred. Can, can the price now take out this high here? That's the next thing to watch. And then that $65,000 area is the next thing to watch. And if it can get above that $65,000 area and stay up there and start closing candles on the hourly and the sixth hour and the 12 and the daily, then uh, we might be in business, right? Because let me, let me just draw in. Not even looking really at the price. Let's just draw. I'm just, I'm just looking at this chart here. Right and right about there, boom, that horizontal line. You can see there's a lot of support and some resistance on that. See how that's working? And so it's kind of like two layers here, right? If if Bitcoin can get up here, start closing, and and flip flip that in from resistance into support, then we might be in business, folks. We might be in business. But you know, I'm not talking about tomorrow or next week. You know, this could take like two more months. To, to get up past 73,000, 74,000. But uh, th that very well could be it. I just want to make this quick little video that got long winded. This, this could be it. This, right, this, this, whoops, let me end the video. This feels a lot to me like, let me try this again. This, this over here feels a lot like this to me. A lot, a lot, a lot like it. So 
So keep that in mind. That was a $23,000 pump coming off that bottom. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but, you know, just, ah, shoot, just for the sake, you know, $23,000 pump from 53 would be 76, $76,000 Bitcoin, which actually would put us right up here trying to break a new all-time high. So that's an interesting thing to look at. Watch out for Bitcoin to uh, break through those resistance levels I showed. Turn them into support and take a run at an all-time high. But don't get carried away because this very well could just be a dead cow, dead cat bounce. But the 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 weight of the, the, that news story, and you know which one I'm talking about, that news story is not going to leave. It's not going to go away. Social media can sink their claws into this and, and just pump and pump and pump and pump. So it's going to be hard for Bitcoin to dump from here, in my opinion. Now it could, though. So you still do want to watch out for it to come back down and retest the lows. But, you know, I think, <laughs> I think you know, 59,000 is probably going to be pretty good support at this point. So, uh, you know, maybe, maybe something, you know, and then it comes up here and, and then it got, you know, that, that something like that. No, that's about right. <laughs> Just speculation, but that, that's not a new story. That's going to leave. Right. That's, that's my point. Right. It's like when Elon, when Elon Musk had Tesla sell their Bitcoin, right. That's, that's not a story that could, could leave, you know, that story could not fade. And so this, this recent development we've got, this tragedy, um, it's a story that's not going to fade, right? It, you know, it's, it's going to have power. It's, gonna, it's just going to stay around, you know, for the rest of this year, at least. As far as Bitcoin, as far I'm touched, talking about Bitcoin terms, right? It's, it's uh, there. I'll just leave it at that. There, boom. Take a look at that. Boom. There it is. All right. Have a good day there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that snazzy jazzy.